extra piece of rubber there. This one is designed for inch and a quarter or inch and a half PVC piping. Since we do have inch and a half piping, we're going to remove the extra layer that's inside the insert. You see how the uh, check valve works. It will let water out, but won't let it back in. And one thing to keep in mind with the uh, check valve whenever you do install a check valve and if you don't have one it's a good idea to try to uh, set the check valve as close to the uh, sump pump as possible to keep more water from just coming back down on the pump and just working the pump so much putting the new sump pump back in place at the bottom of the sump pit and if you're concerned about the uh, wires being submerged in the water you shouldn't really be because they are uh, designed to be submerged in water some of the uh, sump pumps that are out there are not designed to be submerged in water and this would be the uh, pedal stool sump pumps the ones that you probably noticed that uh, stand tall above the uh, sump pit and the motor itself is outside the sump pit, pit rather than inside like this one here is And also remember not to uh, plug the uh, sump pump in while you're working on it. Because the water will come shooting right out at you. Now you can see by using the same sump pump that uh, was in here how much easier this makes the job. Everything just goes right back in place. Now what we're doing here is just kind of making sure that the uh, discharge pipe is sitting really good down into the uh, check valve and the pump is pretty flush with the uh, bottom of the sun pit and once we uh, discharge all the water out of the sun pit we'll be able to see the bottom and if it needs cleaning we will clean it up at the time As you can see, the uh, sump pump has been plugged in and uh, the water is starting to uh, go down.
as the water goes down, you can see that there's water coming in from the small holes on the side. This is the subsurface water that's uh, under a lot of basements. Uh, especially after a, uh, a good rain, you'll have subsurface water. And that's what these pumps and sunk pits are designed is to get rid of the uh, excess water that you would have under your house. Replacing a bad sump pump. This is basically what you might see once you uh, remove the cover from the uh, sump pump. You see the uh, sump pump down here at the bottom. The uh, check valve, some people call it a backflow valve. And this is the discharge. Inch and a half.